everyone. Today I want to spend some time going over the various file types that are associated with the DinoJet PowerCore software suite software and specifically the DinoJet PowerVision 3 flash tuning device. If you haven't already done so, you can go to DinoJet.com under support and downloads and download the PowerCore software. So PowerCore, once it's installed locally, you'll have a shortcut and you'll launch PowerCore and be presented with four different applications. Today, we're really only going to be spending time here with C3 tuning software and WinPEP8 data center. So let's go ahead and launch those guys. Great. So I've got uh, WinPEP8 data open over here on the left and the C3 tuning software open over here on the right. First things first, um, let's go and have a look and talk about the different file types. So here is a folder from a Can-Am Maverick X3 that I created and I have these files. Let me just turn this off. A lot of computers seem to ship this way with file name extensions hidden. So for the purpose of this video, we're talking about specific files and specific files have file extensions that give them their unique properties. So what I like to do on a Windows machine is from Windows Explorer, which you can right click um, or left click, excuse me, uh, down here on your start menu, type in Windows Explorer and um, file Explorer and launch Windows Explorer. So what I like to do is go home, view, okay, right there, file name extensions. If you turn that on, this will make your life easier because you're gonna be finding people referring to um, specific files in um, whether it's customer service at DinoJet, whether it's your local tuner calibrator, whether it's a Facebook support group or forum, you're gonna see people referring to specific file types. That's what we're here to talk about today is file types. So WinPEP8 is right here, WinPEP8 data center. And then I've got .wp8, which simply means WinPEP8. These are log files. So log files can be generated from an on dyno experience, on a DinoJet dyno, or they could be derived from your PowerVision 3 where you have logged the vehicle out in the field. Okay, so a couple ways to open them. You can go file open and then browse your uh, computer for uh, the uh, valid file types, which for today's demo is .wp8. <clears throat> or you can drag and drop them right up here. Okay, so now I've got three runs open and I will show you, perhaps in another video production, how to get around in WinPEP8 data center. But for today, I just want to make sure you know the files that are associated with each of the PowerCore applications. And so again, WinPEP8 is for use with WinPEP8 data center. It contains data logs and channels that may have been derived from an on-dyno experience or from vehicle channels through the PowerVision 3 while in use in the field. Okay, now the next set of files here that this is where most people get spun around an axle. Okay, so I tend to keep my house in order and I have you know, log files in one specific folder, tune files and originals in another folder and value files, which we won't cover today in another folder. So let's jump over to here. Again, we really need to have that file name extensions on because if we don't, we have no idea which one of these is a original file, which I refer to originals um, are .stk and then DJT, DinoJet Tune Files. So STK is original, .djt is a tune file. Okay, so same exercise, more or less. You can go to the Home tab, Open, 
and browse your computer for various um, compatible files. Um, what I did is I cheat a little bit and I like using Windows Explorer. And again, you can simply drag and drop. <clears throat> now, you'll only be able to natively open .stk files over here. When you do so, I'll just drag it up here. You'll notice a dialog will most likely pop up and the dialog will say it's downloading the required template. So you must be uh, connected to the internet when you're intending to use C3 to look at original files, the .stks or the DJTs. So make sure that you have a good internet connection. And the reason why that's required is this STK file, once loaded, is going to automatically, C3 will automatically download what is referred to as a template, a .dtp file. And we're not going to cover that in this particular production, but um, if you go to tools and you look at view loaded uh, definitions, most of you are only going to have a, a couple of, uh, you know, different definitions in here. Of course, I've got lots and lots and lots. So these are your template files. And all a template does is more or less put all of these really cool tuning items into a human readable format uh, into the tables uh, that allow them to be edited. So all sorts of stuff from fuel to spark to... Uh, torque management, so on and so forth. Okay. So your STK and DJT. Now DJTs can be derived from an STK. You can't go from a DJT to an STK. Not allowed by the software. You can consider the STK as the basis, the foundation of the tune, because it is. And the DJT is nothing more than changes to the original um, file, the .stk file. Now, a very important thing to note as well is these files have to stay together. So this .stk and a DJT that, were, uh, that was developed from it, you keep these in the same folder, you save them, and they travel together. They have to. Okay, so this is where everyone gets spun around an axle. So just get in a habit of moving both of these around at the same time. And when you're saving them to a PowerVision 3, where you could have just dragged and dropped that, um, you know, over to your PowerVision 3, or you could have said, save as... And you could have saved those to your PowerVision 3. Okay, you, you cannot open a DJT file in C3 unless that STK is there. All right, so please be sure to have your DJT and STK residing in the same folder. I hope you found this informative. It's a quick overview on the Three different types of files that we covered today were WP8, which is WinPEP8 files, which are data logs. And then over here in C3, uh, .stks are originals, .djts are tune files. Mm -hmm.